So what I found and a way in which I brought forward for myself in order to help my perfectionism was mindfulness. And I found a few studies that had shown that people who had high levels of mindfulness, they had reduced, it, it would help their perfectionistic tendencies. But a bit of a paradox to this is that many people wouldn't try mindfulness or wouldn't get into mindfulness and meditation unless it was perfect. They wouldn't get into it unless it it had it was very hard for them to do because the practice of being mindful or meditating and not doing anything goes against what a perfectionist might do, which is always trying to be busy, always trying to do something and needing to do, do, do rather than just be. And so there's that paradox there where you're trying to to help your perfectionism by becoming aware of it. And that is what it built for me. Over time, I, I trained myself in it and I just became aware of when I'm flicking between what I now know are these two models, what I now I know are these two parts of perfectionism, these strivings and these concerns. And though when, whether I'm worried about what the doubts or I'm worried about these concerns over mistakes or what people think, or am I really focusing on what I want, the, the high personal standards I want to uphold and this organization of it. And that level of awareness just can help. And there's some studies to show that some things that can really help perfectionism are things like NLP, their mindfulness is, is one, but and they all stem around bringing awareness to your tendencies, to what your where it's either come from, what it's what it's saying to you, what you're saying to yourself. And the, I think the thing that stood out for me is this level of self-acceptance. When I was doing my exam recently, I wrote down some mantras and these were coming from just the idea of what I was telling myself, which was being perfect, trying to be perfect, trying to, I could hear myself through my mindfulness practice. I could hear myself saying to myself, you need to be at their level. You need to be at the level of the lecturers. And I wrote some things down and, and eventually I said, the mantras that I had were a few different phrases. It was, it's okay to make mistakes. You don't have to be at the level of someone who is 20 years ahead of you. Uh, making mistakes is is good and also will allow you to grow and then at the end I just wrote this one phrase permission to be imperfect and that just gave me permission to not worry about these concerns over mistakes these concerns over these doubts about taking action and just by saying permission to be imperfect gave a level of self-acceptance which I now know is a, a part of reducing that frustration and, and all of the negative effects of perfectionism that can create this burnout can create your doubts over actions and not actually doing anything in the first place because you're worried about being perfect so through that practice I, I began to recognize that life is ugly life is hard and accepting where we're at can help you get over all of these concerns that you have about having to be perfect in the world all the time and the doubts that you might have about taking action towards that thing that you're definitely striving for. You have this internal love and passion for, but these doubts and actions are getting in the way and just accepting that life is hard and life is a struggle can help you move past all of these perfectionistic tendencies. And, and that's where life is brilliant. Life is in these idiosyncrasies. It's in the struggles that we have. And that's the good bit. That's what allows us to grow. That's what allows us to learn so much about ourselves. And just bringing that level of self-acceptance forward can have a huge impact on how you see yourself and whether you are in either of these two frames of mind of concerned over what people think and the mistakes and, and these doubts over actions or actually living by your standards, the thing that matters most to you, those motivations, those drives.